Pandas. Neutral mobs added to Minecraft in the Village and Pillage update. Is there much to know about these seemingly cuddly fellas? Well, let's find out. It's not too often our world offers us one of the rarest biomes in the game. So it's extra special for any adventurer when discovering a hidden jewel. One cloaked beneath a tall reach of bamboo. Native to just two significantly rare jungle biome variants, these charismatic creatures spawn in small groups of up to two. Pandas hold 10 hearts of health. If they're attacked by a player, they will panic for a very short moment, represented by a very short delay, followed by an attempt to deal only a single warning strike in return. A panda's attack deals a few hearts worth of damage. After their strike of revenge, they'll go back to minding their own business as they stroll through their regions of the bamboo jungle. A panda, upon getting close enough to dropped bamboo, will grasp it between their paws, sit up straight, and munch on it for a short while. They also have a weakness for cake, and won't hesitate a moment to eat an entire one whole. That makes two of us. It's not before too long do we notice pandas share a number of different appearances. These appearances actually represent their personality, and there are exactly seven different personalities a panda can spawn with. Foremost, there are normal pandas. They appear, well, relatively normal, and have no unique personality behaviors. They are typically the most common alongside weak pandas distinguishable by their teary eyes and snotty noses. These poor pandas sneeze far more often as babies compared to other baby pandas. They also only have five hearts of health, exactly half the amount of other pandas. Then we have brown pandas, the rarest variant of panda, unmistakable by their color and small frown. These, like normal pandas, don't have any unique personality behaviors. Lazy pandas. Identified by their subtle little smile, these content chaps move slower than other pandas and are actually one of the slowest moving mob variants in the entire game. They also frequently lie on their backs and spin about. Whilst doing so, not even bamboo will entice these lazy fellas to follow you. Playful pandas. Distinguished by their tongues hanging out from their mouths, this joyful type love to go for a good roll. though quite often, they sometimes forget to check in front of them before they go ahead with the roll. Worried pandas can be found with these adorable large open eyes. These gentle souls are generally quite anxious, avoiding players whenever possible. They also prefer to keep their distance from most hostile mobs too. During thunderstorms, they can be seen hiding their faces, shaking in fear. These pandas also do not eat bamboo or cake by themselves. Lastly, we have aggressive pandas. Yeah, the ones with angry eyes. These are the only type of panda that won't panic after being attacked and will continue to pursue a player after being struck. Furthermore, if other nearby pandas are hit, all local aggressive pandas will become hostile toward the attacker. However, these pandas are considerably slow, but have additional reach when attacking. Since baby pandas are a thing in Minecraft, these mobs can indeed 
be bred, and are actually currently the only mob in Minecraft to require specific conditions for breeding. In order for them to fall in love with another panda, at least eight bamboo blocks must be present within a five block radius of both pandas. Only then, once they've both been fed bamboo, will it cause them to uh, bond with one another. When holding bamboo, nearby pandas will begin to follow, making this process a little easier to play Cupid with. Trying to breed them without enough nearby bamboo blocks, and they may get a bit protective. However, if two pandas do meet the conditions for getting jiggy, then without much trouble, out will pop a baby panda. Baby pandas are all rather playful, occasionally rolling about and lying on their back, and also sneeze. And when they do, it will make nearby adult pandas jump, referencing a popular clip of a baby panda sneezing and frightening its parent. When baby pandas sneeze, rarely will they drop a slime ball. Each panda in Minecraft spawns with two genes, one dominant gene and one hidden gene. This dictates a couple things. Foremost, their dominant gene is displayed by their personality and appearance. Their hidden gene takes on the same names as the seven types of pandas. When two pandas breed, one gene from each panda will be passed down to the baby, with one of those genes becoming the dominant one, again represented by their personality and appearance. There's also a very small chance for a baby to be born with a mutated gene, meaning they could receive any of the seven personalities. 5% of naturally spawned pandas will spawn as a baby. Being that pandas are the rarest animal of any jungle biome variant, this makes naturally spawned babies incredibly rare. Upon their death, on Java edition, adult pandas are guaranteed to drop a piece of bamboo. On other editions, anywhere between zero and two. They will also drop a small amount of experience when killed by a tamed wolf or a player. Baby pandas, like other baby animals in Minecraft, drop nothing upon death. And in case you are wondering, pandas can no doubt go for a sale. In real life, pandas play a vital role in China's bamboo forests, spreading seeds and helping with the growth of vegetation. However, due to past hunting and the destruction of their land and homes, their species have sadly been pushed to a vulnerable status, with less than 2,000 living in the wild from when this video was uploaded. So if you'd like for these gorgeous creatures to have a future on this planet, a link in the description has been provided detailing ways you can help them out. Before I end this video, like always, it's again time for the trivia question. Can giving two adult pandas cake prompts them to breed?